As much as we love the earlier years of BL series, the last few years have given us much more creative shows in terms of plot and some of those other supernatural and fantasy themed BLs. This genre is closest to my heart because it challenges the creativity of the writers to go beyond their imagination and create something we have never seen before. In this video, we will have the 12 best supernatural and fantasy themed BL series that will surely make us scream because of their magical love stories. If you also have your favorite BLs with a fantasy genre, share it on the comment section below. Before that, some of these BL series might not be available in your country due to geolock restriction. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock these geolocked BL series. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First on our list, Triash. It's a no-brainer that this BL is included on this list because of its extraordinary plot. Triash gave us a fresh story that we haven't seen for quite a while and it deserves a lot of praises. Triash tells the story of Tin, an emergency medicine doctor who lost his passion on saving the lives of people after his sister was killed in an accident. One time, Tin failed to save the life of a young man but was given a chance to do it countlessly in time loops. Triash is definitely one of the best shows of 2022 and it kept me on the edge of my seat while watching the twists of the story. Number 2. Cherry Magic. Another BL that comes to my mind whenever I think of fantasy BL is Cherry Magic and its story was truly a magical one. In addition to the fantasy genre, Cherry Magic is also a romantic comedy series that will surely give you a lot of good laughs throughout the show. Cherry Magic tells the story of Ardachi who suddenly gains a magical power, the ability to read other people's minds by touching them. Because of his newfound power, he accidentally touches Kurosawa whom he learns has romantic feelings for him. Although this series came out almost two years ago, it's still one of my recommended BLs to watch because the story is light and is truly entertaining. Number 3, Peach of Time. I never thought that there would be a BL that will feature a love story between a living and a ghost, but here we are. Peach of Time is one of the BLs I saw last year and it really has a good story. Although there were some inconsistencies on how they handled some of the scenes, it's still a good BL to watch with a supernatural genre. Peach of Time tells the story of Peach, a 22-year-old Thai boy, who takes a daring step in his life and decides to fly to Korea to meet his Korean friend. You know, everything is good at first but something is not quite right as the days go by. Aside from the love story this series offers, it also has some elements into it that will spice up the plot even more. Number 4. The Miracle of Teddy Bear. A teddy bear turning into a young man is indeed a fantasy plot but the storyline actually depicts relevant issues in our society. The amount of details they have put together in this series is one of the strengths of this BL and it amazed me that I did not get bored watching its runtime of an hour and a half per episode. The Miracle of Teddy Bear tells the story of Tofu, a giant teddy bear which miraculously turns into a young man. Tofu has been Nut's object of comfort for 10 years but the latter did not know about his transformation and thought that he's a thief who broke inside their house. Tofu will soon to find out the miracle that has happened to him and the dark secrets of Nut's family. Even though this series has a sad ending, it's still one of my favorites for 2022. Number 5. First Love Again. Talking about reincarnation, First Love Again is one of the BLs that I always remember because of its plot. Since this series only has 6 episodes, it's a good series to watch for those who only have limited spare time. 
Personally, this series has a great story but falls short on the execution on most parts. First Love Again tells the story of Yon Ziok, a popular web novelist who has been living for 300 years in order to achieve his first love. But Yon Seok never thought that his first love would be reborn as a young man in the modern world. If this BL could have gotten more screen time, the series could have a better development of the characters but unfortunately, it's only a short series. Number 6. Cupid's Last Wish. Body Swap has never been my cup of tea because it's confusing to the eyes of the audiences but Cupid's Last Wish is an exception to me. The series has a great development of the main character and its plot is something I considered as a unique one. Cupid's Last Wish tells the story of childhood best friends, Korn and Wynn. When Wynn's father died, Korn got a share on the assets based on the last will testament that made Wynn so much angry at him. One night. Win and his sister Lin got into a car accident and woke up to find his soul in her body. To return to their original bodies, Korn and Win have to collect holy water from four temples across the country in seven days. I know that most of you don't want to watch body swap BLs, but Cupid's Last Wish is a BL worth watching. Number 7. Color Rush. This series was originally released on late 2020 and got a second season earlier this year. It's one of the most hyped Korean BLs before because its plot was a unique one compared to other BLs released on late 2020. Color Rush tells the story of Yon Wu, a mono, who could only see their world through varying shades of grey, black, and white. But his life was forever changed when he meets Yu Han, his probe and experienced his first color rush that gave him the ability to see the other colors. Just like other Korean BLs, this series is also quite short but it easily gets to the point of its plot. Number 8. Dear Doctor, I'm coming for Seoul. If a love story between a human and a ghost isn't enough for you, then a love story between a doctor and soul reaper might be the perfect series for you. Dear Doctor I'm Coming for Soul tells the story of Dr. Prakken, a well-known surgeon dedicated to saving people's lives. However, his life is even worse than other doctors since he could see a soul reaper, which means someone is about to die. Dr. Prakken wants to save more lives and defeat death but could he really do it? This BL is an interesting series and it's completely different compared to others on this list. If there's a season 2 of this, I would definitely watch it. Number 9. Tinted With You. This Korean BL has a combination of fantasy and historical genres but sadly, it was also a short series. It's a nice concept to begin with but its execution wasn't that great in terms of the development of the plot. But this is a good series to watch if you don't have plenty of time to spare with and just want a BL that's quite different compared to the rest. Tinted With You tells the story of the crown prince who was forced into exile because of his cruel older brother. Fast forward to the present time. A high school student is inexplicably drawn into the distant past. He meets the crown prince, with whom he forms a close and romantic bond. If this series had enough budget to become a better show, this could get a lot more praises because of its uniqueness. Number 10. Until We Meet Again. This BL was released almost 3 years ago but it felt like it was yesterday when I first watched it. The reincarnation plot was one of the highlights of this series and it was extremely used, in a good way, throughout the show. Until We Meet Again tells the story of Dean and Farm, reincarnated individuals who once committed suicide in their past lives because of their fathers who couldn't accept their sexualities and their relationship. Back to the present time, the red thread of fate will find its way to bring them back together to give their story a happy ending. 
although there are now a lot of better BLs out there in the recent years, Until We Meet Again is still one of the original BLs that I will treasure its story forever. Number 11, he's coming to me. This might be the oldest BL on this list but it's still one of the best in terms of its plot and development. I'm not really a fan of shows that have ghost characters in it but thankfully, the character involved in this series wasn't a creepy one. He's coming to me tells the story of Met, a kind heir to a rich family, who suddenly dies mysteriously on his birthday. For 20 years, he has become a ghost and waits for someone to visit his grave in order to reincarnate. But a young boy happens to see and talk with him during the Qingming festival. After a couple of years, the young boy is now a university student and reveals to Met that he was killed. The two will embark on a journey to solve the mystery of Met's death. If you haven't seen this BL yet, then it's now the right time to watch it. Number 12, Vice Versa. The latest BL on this list is Vice Versa and it's definitely a promising one. The concept of parallel universe has never been explored in a BL and I'm kind of excited to see where Vice Versa is heading for its plot. Vice Versa tells the story of Lei, who got into an accident and woke up in the body of Tess in a different world, and Poon, a famous actor who is now in the body of Tun. The two will have to find their port key in order to go back to their original world. The series is still on its episode 1 and there will be a lot more things to happen but I'm already liking the plot of this BL. I just hope that the development of the story would be a good one. Aside from these 12 titles. You can also watch something in my room and Great Men Academy which also have supernatural and fantasy themed plots. These BL series have tried to go beyond our imagination and it's a great opportunity to have these genres in other future BLs. Which of these BLs are your favorites? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.